Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today we are doing mastering of the song that we have been doing for the past uh, two days. Check out part number one, two, and three, and check out the making of the beat and the instrument on the mixing videos all down there on the channel. So today is mastering time. So let me show you what I did. So during mastering, just convert, export your um your audio file come to file and do export it as mix down and your mix down has to be wave wave format all right from there locate where you have uh, exported your wave like for example mine is on the desktop so i'm just gonna get this bring it to cubis drop it down there just click ok just like that just take it make sure that it's it starts from there so this is how the song sounds like when it is not mastered like this now this is important and this is what i wanted to show you guys check out how much space i have left out for mastering everything is in green now let's say if your song was has is in red it shows it would distort so professionals always leave out space for mastering and you can do a lot when you leave a lot of space uh for for mastering just make sure that your mix doesn't go up to the red line in that way you will start clipping and distorting at the same time and you won't be able to master your song so check out once again where my song is so my song is exactly right here all right this is my microphone my microphone is uh, picking this distorting because i'm talking but the overall song is right here and it really sounds great right there so i can like crank it up and widen it up and add a lot of a bunch of plugins i won't be able to clip okay so let me just do this come to inserts now i already have the plugins that i use for this song uh, to, to master this song so what i'm gonna do is just come to um to my preset and i'll load up the plugins then i'm gonna explain to you guys um what i did the reason why i used these plugins I, I think i used four yeah yeah four one two three four all right five yeah so now the first one was maximizer and maximizer i have only used it to maximize the stereo uh sound i am using the default maximizer nothing is like I haven't done anything just this thrown in just works the way it is so let me start with maximizer on default so this is like just i just got maximizer just like this maximizer default just like that all right so let's play it with uh without maximize and then turn it on And suddenly you just have that sound maximize sound and you know everything is like now comes alive then the next thing that i i got was c4 it's actually a multi-band a multi-band compressor it used to uh work on selective bands each band like band one two three four so you've got low mid high this one two three four and you have crossover this side so it's actually used for uh mixing each band separately it's not like an eq an eq you can mix each band separately but with a multi-band you are able to mix each frequency uh separately and all we need right now is for this song are the highs boosting up the highs open up the song a little bit and then just 
uh, increase the the meads just a little bit and then control the law I think will be done by then so let me turn it off and turn it on <laughs> So we have beautiful highs going on right there. I have lifted up the highs 2.5. Just a little bit of that really uh, makes a different, a huge difference. So 2.5 raised up this area. Um, with the mids, I have only done a little. It's actually like controlling by dropping them down. And how do you da do that? You come to range. So you just have to like drop the range like that and it's just gonna drop it down just a little bit right here like this one right here this one right here yeah so So that is really giving the song uh, a beautiful uh, mid frequency, controlled frequency. I don't want the mids to be like too much. They are making the song to really sound uh, boxy. Like, let me let me take it up again. Take a listen to this. So you want to make sure that you control the mids and once you control the mids uh, the good thing about uh, multi about multi band is that each band is controlled separately so when you control this one this one won't be able to affect the rest of the frequencies the rest of the frequencies remain untouched and we have uh, this one right here this is your low end so you gotta know how to work with your low end with the low end it's being controlled at the same time uh getting boosted up just a little bit and this that's what we want we want a good low end and that's what we have there and this is the one that we were talking about the mid low mid high some somewhere there it's a little bit wide yeah so it's helping the Meads, especially the meads, to be controlled. And now you also have this, this one right here. Um, I am spreading up the highs just a little bit. This is the highs area, opening up the song, of course and um making it just control the frequencies by just uh ducking down just a little bit and we have the final one which is this one yeah the overall shimmer so you just need that shimmer in your song as well and i have just boosted it up 2.5 and the range is negative 8.0 the rest are 7.9, 7.9, 7 and the best area, which is range 8.0. So you've got to use multiband compressor if you want to have beautiful sound during mastering. Then behavior is on electro, release is on uh, ARC, and knee is on 0 0.5, just like that. And then I have just boosted it up, the output just a little bit, 2.5, just to make sure that the whole thing covers the whole song. All right. I just want the multiband effect to be on it. 
and uh, without these two, this is how the song sounds like. We are not done. We need stereo enhancer, and we need to like bring it up. Stereo enhancer helps to balance the stereo sound. So whenever you want your stereo sound to be balanced, especially during mastering, you've got to add a stereo enhancer. This is from Cubase, and my width is on 120. Delay is off. Color is off. You don't need the delay now that you are mastering. And now the next thing that um, I have added is F6 stereo. This is an EQ. You can use um, Fabputa Pro Q3 or any uh, EQ that you have. And as you can see, what I'm doing right now is to boost up, open it up a little bit more using an EQ. This, this other side I was using uh, a multi band to control, but this time I am boosting this and this is affecting everything so boosting this area boosting this area boosting around a uh, uh, 260 somewhere there and boosting around 125 yeah and just cutting cleaning up the overall uh song like there is that rumble and but uh huge frequency that has this heaviness that you just need to cut up cut just a little bit during mastering so that your song can be clean so this is why i have just given this a little bit of that deep and boosted up the highs the lows and we you need some low to your song and some mids and boosted up remember during mixing i was doing a lot of bit uh, a lot of cutting and trying to remove those frequencies check out the video right now all the videos part one part number two part number three to this uh, part of mastering is there so and boosted up this as well now let's turn it off then let me play then i'll turn it on all right so what is happening here you can see some dynamic eq going on and the reason i did that was so that whenever that particular frequency that makes uh, the song to open up it comes up dynamically the eq is gonna like try to control it that's the work you just have to come to your threshold and range negative 2.4 and it will start kicking in more like a compressor inside an eq that's the work of this eq now that we have boosted all those the final thing is a limiter adding a limiter helps this this not to clip all right so clipping is controlled using a limiter and that's the reason why i'm using this limiter apart from that i'm using the limiter this limiter to give volume to the overall song and i've taken it taken it to plus 7.5 all right as as long as it's okay the sound is okay and the volume is okay you have nothing to worry about so this my look ahead is on zero my attack is uh to 75.0 milliseconds release right there not too slow and not too fast so that the limiter can limit some of those uh, uh, frequencies some of those uh, like the kick and the other frequencies which are trying to jump out this controls everything so now with the limiter on you will hear the song like coming alive <laughs>
without this is before this is gonna be before